everyone welcome everyone to the fifth quarter final of the fourth grand tournament uh, this is a general quiz tournament and we are doing it for the fourth time uh, this is i think the first quarter final where there are no debutants all of them have been here before so uh, let's get this going okay uh, let me let me uh, call upon all the four contestants the first contestant has been here before um, she was here in the first edition the second edition she's back now uh she i think is targeting the most fun participant award but who knows she might get a few answers here and there give it up for ashwarya mohan raj hey. <laughs> oh hi gwi hi 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 on that note i'm going to call someone who has been a finalist twice in the first and second edition we give him a break because we wanted other people to reach finals as well in the third edition he's back here to compete in the fourth edition give it up for nevil shah ஒன்னிங் <laughs> 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 Star Wars and uh, yeah here we have on on a very starry note uh, give it up for this next star who has been a consistent face in every quizzing uh, edition i've ever done in his own words he either hits a six or gets out for duck let's see which of the two versions do we have today give it up for tanmay bhat hello 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 i am targeting for the funniest contestant today also ashwarya you have Talk. So yes. I I I uh, changed it and I told him prettiest so I'm going to maintain that I'll keep doing my hair and so like hi guys Shankar makeup makeup la na makeup <laughs> I'm also competing for prettiest so let's do it Aishwarya wait bonjour oh, no if that has to happen then then we should all put that uh, I'll put hair band <laughs> I think uh, open hair you look much much prettier Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. So pretty. <laughs> By the way, uh, AIB, SNG, ESC, all representation is here. Yeah, yeah. 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 Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. yeah. So it's Comic Stand, bitches. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> biggest collective ever. <laughs> We all know the rules. There, there's going to be twenty questions. The order is Ashwarya, Neville, Sahil, Tanmay, and for the second half, the order will be Tanmay, Sahil, Neville, and Ashwarya. the first question we are looking at a word okay there is a one word answer now there are a number of silly stories purporting to explain the word like where this where from where did this word come about the word literally means fake sham counterfeit or insincere okay those are some of the synonyms of the word one of the like theories for how this word came about is that when in 1880s telephone was invented right so there was some widespread fear that telephone would be used to deceive people okay yeah. because this new gadget was considered to be you know untrustworthy and disparate so people started calling telephone as this word okay later this word applies to anything which is not real or is not sincere this theory might have been believable but to be honest the it it appeared in print more than 10 years before the first telephone ever came like ever patented okay mm-hmm. now the other clue is that the word x appears in the catcher in the rye about 35 times so that's another reason why this word became very popular because when catcher in the rye came the central character which is uh, holden caulfield holden keeps saying this word he says being a dash is about the worst thing people can be and he's surrounded by them the entire book he keeps talking about how the world is dash people around him in dash and being dash is the worst thing that you can do so what one word are we looking for that literally means fake sham counterfeit insincere etc and has its origin in the invention of telephone okay i'm just going to guess okay okay scam not scam uh, going to neville phony phony oh people start calling phone phony on anything around phone damn it and now the word phony is now a generic word for anything that's of course sincere okay neville tu kya likh raha hai bata pen se kya likh raha hai tu kya likha hai tu usme i didn't know the answer i was going to go for influencer but okay phony also works catcher in the rye is favorite one of favorite books so 
also that oh god okay hey my favorite book is chicken soup for teenage soul okay <laughs> teenage soul <laughs> but you need to be <laughs> reading teenage soul chicken soup <laughs> yes oh wow phony okay. of course phony yeah. phony comes from telephone phony okay next direct uh, it also come, there are other theories also like there is another story of how uh, it comes from the word phony f a w n e y okay next direct is to sahil we are looking at another word this time sahil this word comes from the roman word which means a place where three roads meet okay thus it is used to denote something that is so common that is available at any crossroads of a town okay the word comes from roman word which means a place where three roads meet that's a clue and meaning wise it it denotes something that is so common that is available at any crossroads of town a deriv so the next clue is that a derivation of this word is also quite common in quizzing like in quizzing and in the world of quizzing that word is very common a derivative of that word what word do you think are we talking about okay i'm going to go with a guess intersection not intersection tanmay just guess it tanmay please i don't want to come to <laughs> uh uh is it i have two words is it pass no it's not pass uh going to ashwarya what was your second word tanmay <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah to do not something that is so common that is available at any crossroads of a town mm handkerchief no uh, handkerchief ta- passing se hawkers and no tie tie okay no passing to neville yeah to denote something that mm-hmm. is available it's it's a it's a it's a it's an object no basically the meaning is is that it's so common that's the that that's what you should derive from that sentence okay there is something is it oh is I it miss that hmm. is it trivia yeah so what do you think is the original word we are talking about oh. trivia is the word that is uh, the derivation which is also used in quizzing oh okay word that means very common trivial Tri- trivial trivial, trivial yeah. is the word ah, trivial trivial okay three roads and hence try try yeah, yeah. trivial and then uh, trivial became like something which is so common place and then trivia is another derivation which is obviously ashwarya my second word was also not this so don't worry yeah. <laughs> what what was it <laughs> i was thinking something with try i was thinking trifecta something something yeah. that. so I that's feel, where i started i feel if you would have said trifecta kb would have been like you, you're close you're close yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. i wrote I trifecta pass, first i wrote trifecta first uh, pass passage aise kuch to socha tha main aise guess maar liya maine kuch nahi socha so yeah <laughs> <laughs> my first guess was going to be linking road but i did it <laughs> somehow seem right that's why i said okay. handkerchief because uh, roads pe handkerchief bechte hai yes, yes. in normal times also they used to do that handkerchief <laughs> quiz mein kab hua hai like oh i'm sorry you came last here as a handkerchief you use a hand cry okay. if you came last my... you need a handkerchief that is exactly. my effort for uh, being most fun I participant am. okay Okay. <laughs> smile, Ashwarya. Smile. <laughs> you look pretty. <laughs> the original try section was called trivialist, and trivialist the word from uh, there. In my mind, I'm just like the entire pretty contestant part in the beginning. We'll edit it out. <laughs> But I keep now all these comments <laughs> looking very pretty. Will, will come out so out of context on YouTube, where everyone will be like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." Why are they calling? Ishwar, oh. <laughs> when you don't know the answer to a question, you should just raise your hand and wave it like a pageant winner. Like it's okay. Look at I my face. <laughs> Guys, can I just go wear my lehenga fast? fast <laughs> okay, uh, Neville got uh, trivial, uh, which means the next direct will be to Sahil. <clears throat> Sahil, this is the ship that you see. The ship was called HMS Dash. So I've removed the ship's name. This was a mid nineteenth century. bark rig ship of the british royal navy specially outfitted for arctic exploration the ship dash became trapped in the ice and was abandoned in 1854 
a, a couple of years later, recovered by a whaler, she was returned to Queen Victoria in 1856. Now, timbers from this ship were later used to construct something. Okay, timbers from this ship was later used to construct something which is now used by the president of a country. Okay, I want you to tell me what was the constructed final output like. What is it? What is the final entity that is used by president of a certain country? Uh, a desk. Okay, and if you can uh, add something to your guess, like a desk used by country. Like the president of USA, the Oval Office desk. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, the, the shape was called HMS Resolute, and uh, the desk. The resolute desk. Resolute desk. Nice. Super, super crack. Resolute desk. <laughs> <laughs> ये अगर दस बार वेस्ट विंग देखोगे तो याद ही रह जाएगा देर इज नो डाउट हाँ बट नेवल यूर गोइंग फुल लाइक यूर गोइंग फुल स्लम डॉग यू नो पास में से ये पढ़ा था ये वेस्ट विंग देखा था आई एम गोइंग कम्प्लीटली दिल द लास्ट मूवी आई वॉच वॉज रेस टू विथ ऐश्वर्या प्लीज शट योर माउट You so, get some question about uh, uh, you know Katina yeah. and uh, Deepika Padukone and Ranveer. <laughs> is is race two is Abbas Mustan no? Yes. Oh, no. Okay. You know they had a third brother. You didn't know right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did. Do, we did. Do. He's an editor. He's the editor. They edited. God him damn out. it! Yeah. I hate you, man. एक तो कुछ तो रहने दे हमारे लिए यार. How can you know Resolute <laughs> Desk and Abbas Mustan's third brother? Like how can you? <laughs> I thought he was kidding. Is it true? No, no. That's yeah, there's a third. There's a third brother. He's an editor, yeah. Ah, वो मिस्टर इंडिया का लाल ग्लास पहनता है तभी वो दिखता है। नहीं, जब भी तू व्हाइट नहीं पहनता है तभी वो दिखता हो। Oh wow! Oh my God! Don't cry, sir. Don't cry. Resolute day. Uh, okay. अब मुझे एक ऐसे ही आप लोगों ने बोल दिया कि मैं फंडा ऐड करता हूँ। I'll tell you interesting thing. The thing in the center that you see on the desk was not there earlier, but Franklin uh, Roosevelt had. Polio, basically. So used to wear, like he he want to hide yeah. his neck. So they added the the center thing so he could hide his neck. Just oh. Random fact. If there was television, this country would never elect the president in a wheelchair. Ah, okay. Man, yeah. fucking Neville, wait, no. <laughs> you got are, the answer. Are sorry, apologies. अगला पिक्चर का नाम ग्रॉपरी रखेगा टू जस्ट टेक इट टू द नेक्स्ट लेवल फिगरजी The word is a combination of two Latin words meaning sharp and foolish. What is the word that we are looking at? Ostensible self-contradiction to reveal a paradox. Yeah. Or to prove isn't paradox itself a figure of speech? Good friend. Good friend. Good friend. <laughs> I'm thinking. Hang on. <laughs> Ostensible. यार ये इंग्लिश क्लास में उतना ध्यान नहीं दिया था यार एक मिनट ऑटोलॉजी व्हिच इन द वर्ड इटसेल्फ इज एग्जांपल आई शुड नॉट रेज माय हैंड सो मच आल्सो व्हाट इफ इट्स रॉन्ग टू कॉकी एम बी इट्स नॉट हाइपरबोली नेवर माइंड इट्स नॉट हाइपरबोली एनीवे पास ओके पासिंग टू ऐश्वर्या इज इट ऑक्सीमोरॉन इट इज ऑक्सी ओह माय गॉड आई न्यू ऑक्सीमोरॉन ऑक्सी इज शार्प मोरॉन इज फुलिश And hence the hence the answer oxymoron. Oh my God! I got one answer. God damn it! I can't believe I didn't know oxymoron. Anyway, one race to question this quiz, please. please. <laughs> I think I'll win that also. <laughs> damn it! Uh, Ashwarya got uh, oxymoron, which means the next direct will be to Neville. Uh -huh. Neville, very direct question. When someone communicates to the Prime Minister of United Kingdom that London Bridge is down, 
I know this. What message does that convey? That the uh, queen is dead. That the queen is dead. Perfect. That is correct. London Bridge is down. Is the code name of the project? <laughs> How a bus must have been there to have a code word like this. That's <laughs> cool. Wow, I'm really trying to bring yeah. this to into the. Everything is planned. <laughs> queen is dead. Uh-huh. Nice. Neville Shah, right? Next direct will be to Sahil. Uh, Sahil, uh, Canning Highway is a 17 kilometers long road in Perth, Western Australia. There was a pub called Raffles at the end of the road. Near Raffles, there is a steep descent, immediately followed by an intersection, where many fatal crashes have occurred. Due to these accidents, this road earned a nickname, which inspired a person named Bon Scott to create something extremely famous. Okay. either tell me the ominous nickname of uh, this stretch of road on canning highway or alternatively what is the name of bond scott's creation they are the same so there is we are talking about a road in perth australia where there was a pub etc there is a sharp descent there where many accidents used to happen many fatal crashes have occurred because of all this they gave a nickname to that road that nickname inspired a guy called bond scott to create something which is very famous uh, tell me the nickname of that road or give me What was what did he create, which is really famous? It's the same. Both are the same. Okay, I'm gonna go. Uh, no, no idea. I'm just gonna go with uh, crisps, like 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 lace type crisps. Ah, uh, no, Tanmay. Okay. Is it hairpin? No, uh, Ashwarya. What? Itte jaldi mujh pe kaise aaye? One sec. Uh, the nickname of the highway, or alternatively, what he, which bonds called pass pass. Passing to Neville. Give me a second, please. Is it the song uh, 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 by ACDC called "Highway to Hell"? Hi, oh. uh, hi, highway to Hell. Yeah. Perfect answer. Yeah. The nickname of the road was "Highway to Hell." Ben Scott of course. Wow. Australian band and he made a song out of this. Uh, wow, what a guess! Highway to Hell. Okay then. Wow. Okay. Highway, Highway to Hell was the nickname of Canning Highway because there were many accidents, so they started calling it Highway to Hell. And uh, Ben Scott, of course, is from ACDC, which is an Australian band, and they made the song Highway to Hell, which of course is very famous. Hey, uh, man, <laughs> that is the that is the exact sound effect in my mind right now. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> I bet you have ten points to uh, Neville, uh, mm-hmm. which means the next direct will be to Sarah. Why is there no trivia about luck? Luck? You tell me that. <laughs> why? Why don't we have? Hey, hey, what was this creation? <laughs> Something with luck and latitude, or I don't know. Maybe oh, it was in it was in the India quiz. <laughs> luck, luck, guy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, next direct is to Sahil. Sure, X sells a lot of motorcycles. Over two two sixty two thousand bikes were uh, sold in twenty sixteen alone, and they account for the bulk of their revenue, which is around six billion dollars. But X branded gear generates a hefty chunk of change too. Although general merchandise represented just about five percent of their revenues, that still translates into almost three hundred million dollars worth of leather jackets, boots, t-shirts, jeans, and more. It is the apparel that helps even non-owners identify with the X lifestyle, and gives its riders an edge as some of the most die-hard, enthusiastic, and loyal brand representatives anywhere. Beautiful. What are we talking? Ali Davidson. Yes, that is correct. Yes. Yar, ye to mujhe bhi pata tha, guys. Ali Davidson is correct. By the way, John Abraham in race two drove Ali Davidson. Just let me. <laughs> The closest I could get to race. Yeah. Uh, Sahil Shah gets uh, ten point for Harley. Charu can DDL jo has a Harley na. Has a Harley Davidson. That's true. Yeah. I'm in like my version of Slumdog, except everything is about race two. That's how I remember all of this. Fun fact: Anil Kapoor was in race. Now wasn't Anil Kapoor in race? Yeah. He was. He was. Oh, done. It's a full universe being created. Yeah. <laughs> The RCU. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Next direct is to Tanmay. Tanmay, this class of compounds is created from nitrocellulose and camphor, with added dyes and other agents. 
its main use was in movie and photography industry which used film made from these compounds until 1950s it is highly flammable difficult and expensive to produce and it is no longer widely used however the reason we all know this uh, compound is because the name is now used to refer to cinema in general okay so what do you think is the name of the compound celluloid yes beautiful answer tanmay gets it uh, right it is celluloid okay celluloid which was actually a compound now used to refer to cinema in general tanmay this comes it. in in glorious bastards now yes Uh, which was made by the uh, different type of by, cellular. Yeah, that's a different type. Made by the Abbas Mustan of Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and, uh, with that, we come to the end of the first half. Let's have a look at the score. Ashwarya got oxymoron, and she on ten points. Hey, what about point uh, five and all? Nothing you gave. Oh, minus. Okay, na last one. Okay, bad. Neville got forty trivia. the queen is dead and highway to hell so uh, neville is on 40 points koi nahi taali baja raha dekh raha yeah sorry okay <laughs> <laughs> nobody is going to clap ahil <laughs> got uh, resolute desk and also got harley davidson he's on 20 points woo no one's clapping for sail also success i am very got celluloid uh, and tanmay is on 10 points woo <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, okay. So right now Neville has a healthy lead, uh, but uh, Sahil, Tanmay, and Ashwarya are almost right there, ten twenty, as per scene. The order will now change. The order will be Tanmay, Sahil, Neville, Ashwarya. <laughs> okay, let's start the second half. Uh, this is for Tanmay. Tanmay, I'm talking about the design of a flag. The design, a red, white, blue triband, was inspired by the colors of the French tricolor because France also has the same color. Mm. Uh, believed to signify independence and liberty now the reason why this flag is very unusual is because it differs on its obverse and reverse sides okay it's the only flag that differs from in like both the sides of the flag the obverse of the flag which is the supposedly the front side obverse of the flag shows the national coat of arms and the reverse shows the seal of the treasury thus making it the only country in the world to have a national flag with a different design on each side which country holds this unique record this is america uh not america passing damn it sahil uh uh this is side pe america ka plane hai na nahi is is it uk not uk uh never nahi nahi uk to nahi hai Just say it, no Neville, so that it doesn't come to me. <laughs> I don't know it. I'm trying to think. Well, I mean, the French tricolor. I'm just <clears throat> assuming it's a French colony. I just can't figure out which one. <clears throat> yeah, even I, even I thought of that. Yeah, of course you did. <laughs> That's why you said U.S. Yeah, I said U.K. They colonized. I don't know. Um. The French Polynesian Islands. <laughs> no, not the French Polynesian Islands. Going to Australia. I don't know. I feel like saying Belgium. So let's just go with that. <laughs> uh, not Belgium. Okay, we'll take one more round, starting with Tanmay. Uh, oh wow! All of you is that uh, the country is in South America. Okay, and the country yeah. landlocked. The country. And the country is landlocked. Landlocked. So a landlocked country in South America. It's probably not in South America, but I'm just going. Is it Uruguay? Not Uruguay. Uh, Sahil. Argentina. Argentina uh, blue air flag. No, it's not. Are you sure it's not? No. Level. A. Oh, sorry. 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 Ah, even Uruguay is not. Paraguay. Yes. That is correct. It is Paraguay. Oh, Not true, oh shit! मेरे को आधा point मिलना चाहिए. Yeah, he है. said Gwe. Yeah, Gwe really बोल दिया मैं. Bad for Tanmay right now. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Five points to Neville for Paraguay. Paraguay is the only flag which is different, as you can see. मेरे को पता नहीं था एक और round आएगा. मैं already French Abbas Mustan joke सोच रहा था. 
Labas. My point there for Neville, which means the next direct will be to Ashwarya. I'm talking about something which is constructed from jigsaw pieces. Some pieces are missing at the top. Okay. Inscribed with glyphs from many different writing systems. We're talking about something with some pieces missing on the top. And uh, uh, there is inscription from different writing systems. The empty space at the top represents the incomplete nature of the project. So what we are talking about is also in some sense a project. And the empty pieces at the top talks about, uh, basically represents that the project is incomplete. Each piece, now each piece in that jigsaw represents a letter or glyph from different language and thus it symbolizes the multilingualism of the project also. In 2007, a model, a 3D model was developed. So right now when you see this, uh, the current model is actually 3D model because uh, they uh, basically the earlier 2D models, uh, they distributed it to a sphere spherical puzzle and that is the current version of what we are talking about so just to recap we are talking about something which is currently if you look at it it's a sphere okay with some pieces missing from the top okay all the pieces of that sphere are glyphs from different languages what's a, a glyph is a letter or other guy okay yeah 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 so some letters from different languages which represents that this project is multilingual. Okay. And also some pieces at the top are missing, which shows that the project is incomplete in nature, like this. the incomplete nature of the project. What do you think are we talking? So think of a sphere, different languages, multilingual, some pieces missing from the top. Yeah. That's it for now. Okay, one clue I want. Kiwi, do you think I know this? Yeah. <laughs> oh. We've all seen this. All five of us. Uh, some pieces are missing on top. Sphere. Oh man. Yeah, no. I think I, I, this is not it, but I'll just say it. Cypher. Uh, no, Tanme. It's the Wikipedia logo. It is the Wikipedia logo. Ten points to Tanmay. Oh, and excellent. waiting, just waiting. Yeah, I saw. Thank God. I... The Wikipedia logo. You see ah. it. Yeah. Different pieces of a puzzle. Every Yaar. multilingual. Nice. Different different languages represents that Wikipedia can be accessed in different languages. And it's yeah, yeah, all visual question. To understand, I was drawing a sphere. Draw kar raha tha. Mera sphere dekho ke guys. <laughs> Sitting and waiting. Oh. Nice, nice. Yeah, I did. I just I thought of the Wikipedia logo, but I didn't know if it was the correct answer. Like, yeah. I thought the logo was based on something deeper that I didn't know of. Okay, Tanmay gets ten points for Wikipedia logo. Going to Sahil now. Yeah. Sahil, another thing that you can crack from like visual. Okay, recently they changed the name of their media brand to Archwell and adopted a new logo, and the previous crest was dropped. The one on the right on your screen is the previous crest. Okay. And they had a new logo, which is the one in the center. Okay. The new logo soon attracted controversy after it was found that it closely resembled that of an Austrian company, Amber Terdor project, which is on the left. So look at the previous crest and identify who are the owners of Arshwell Arshwell. Okay. Let's look at the question again. Okay. We're talking about someone who owns a, uh, a media brand called Arshwell. The one on the right was their previous crest. They changed their new logo recently, which is the one in the center. And obviously, as you can see, it looks very similar to the logo in the left, which is a very small company in Austria. Okay. But they accuse them of plagiarism, etc, etc, etc. My big hint for all four of you is that the biggest hint on this slide is the previous crest. If I have, if you have to ask me like where to, what's the biggest thing from previous crest, tell me who the owners of this company can be. Uh, sorry, Gavi, uh, the, the, is there a reason why it created a controversy that it was related to an Austrian company? 
uh, no it was just plagiarized if you can see the logo in the yeah yeah got left. it okay so, so there, it's, no, it's not relevant that it was an austrian company no, it no, could no. have been any other company no 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 it, it, the nationality is not important austrian because it was just the similarity in logo okay i'm going to give a guess yeah is it by any chance the princess of monaco not the princess of monaco neville is it the 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 british royal family like the 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 like her majesty uh, the or his majesty so your final answer is the queen of england or the british the royal family, family of england the royal society or the family of england his i mean in that they they own it basically is what i was Okay, I'll come back to you, Nabil. I'm not okay. reacting to this. I'll come back to you, uh, mm-hmm. Ashwarya. Is it like you know the word starts from a J or it V M? Is it? You won't tell me on call. Mm, but good try. Right? Yeah. Right no, I also thought good try. Right? <laughs> oh man, okay. some george fuck yeah jamna bhai narsi munji pass okay passing to tanvi ah Madam to Swords. Uh, no, not Madam to Swords. Okay, we'll take one more round. Uh, I will give uh, some points to Neville. Okay, but I'm looking for a very specific answer. That's why I waited for Neville's exact answer, and I told him I'll get back to him. So Neville will get part point. His track is good. Okay, but I'm looking for a specific answer, and I'm looking for a couple. Okay, we'll go with that hint, starting with Sahil. Again, Markel and her hubby. Forgot his name. Hey, what's uh, William? Right? No. What's his? What's uh, Philip? Philip? Philip and Markel? Right? Uh, no, Philip died. What is Meghan Markel's husband? Take your time. Take ten seconds. Give me your final answer. Yeah. Aram se. Che. Oh my God. And so can... that's what it is. It's a. You can look at it. She's a kid, but. Uh... Look at the logo, Sahil. It's there in that, like. William. Okay, no, I'll have to pass. But again, five points to you, Sahil. You are partially right. Arey, Neville. How did you forget about it? Then Henry and Meghan Markle. Henry, no. Henry and Meghan Markle, no. No. Not Henry and Meghan. Can I get it? Harry. Yeah, it is. Harry. Uh, <laughs> I went blank out. It is H and M, basically. Yeah, H and M. Ah, H and M. Yeah, I thought about. It. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, and you fit and see the logo is very similar to that. Prince Harry को ताड़ने का फायदा हो गया life में ऐश्वर्या को क्या बात है? Okay, let's figure how to split points on this. Uh, because Sahil got Meghan Markle, Neville brought British family in the picture, and Ashwarya got uh, Prince Harry. And I got nothing. Zero. He got nothing. I just thought that royal family वाले zone में घुस गया है. तो एक दिन थोड़ा थोड़ा अलग मारते. Ah, uh, okay. Ah. Uh, since it was 10 earlier and neville brought british family here in the picture so i will give four to neville for that okay and since uh, it became a five pointer when we restarted and sahil and ashwarya both got part points there so i'm giving uh three you should give sahil more yeah uh i will give so you 0.5 of that thanks son three is to sahil and four uh, is 10 okay cool Fun fact: Meghan and Harry are the Abbas Mustan of the royal family. She <laughs> had so much time you took, and you came up with this. I just wanted to say something. I know. <laughs> okay, they will get four. Ahil and Ashwarya both get three, uh, uh, which means the next direct will be to Ashwarya. Okay, oh. because uh, uh, Neville got more points on this. Okay, oh, next direct will be to Ashwarya. Uh, this is yours. Uh, in a rare turn of events, the Republic of Ireland had to slightly change its national emblem. 
Okay, so a country had to change its national emblem as it feared copyright difficulty from a company X, which had trademarked the logo for over 50 years before the founding of the state. Uh, okay, so we're talking about the Republic of Ireland, where they had to change their national emblem because they feared that there might be copyright issues with the company because that company had a trademark uh, 50 years before these guys had to figure out the national emblem. Now let's talk about that logo that they had trademarked. The logo is a right-facing 14th century harp, also known as the O'Neill or Brand Doru, and has been used by the brand since the 1770s. Okay, So they've been using this logo for like more than 200 years, yeah. 250 years. Incidentally, the company, now another hint for the company, is the company is also known for founding an institution that confers one of the most well-known recognitions in the world. The company is also behind an institution that confers one of the most well-known recognitions in the world. Tell me two things. One, and you will know the second thing if you know the first thing. Tell me the brand or the company that we are talking about and the institution that they founded, which is which confers one of the most well-known recognitions. So logo is given, country is given, old company. Yeah, we can start with that. So the so this is like Ireland. Mm -hmm. The country is Ireland, mm -hmm. which can for which which is where the company is also from. Mm -hmm. And some Ireland ka country con company confers one of the most well-known recognitions in the world. Mm -hmm. Pass. Okay, passing to Tanmay. A harp is a musical instrument, right? Yeah. yeah. Johnson and Johnson. No, not Johnson and Johnson. Going to Sahil. Guinness. Yes. yes. Ah, of course. Yeah. Uh, yes. Just for the record, Sahil, uh, what is the institution that they founded? World Book of Records, Guinness World yes. Records. That is correct. We are talking about Guinness beer and they started Guinness World Records. As you can see, that's the harp, uh, which, uh, of course, Guinness. So you when a beautiful harp. Very, very like a you want to see my harp? Uterus, but good enough harp. <laughs> it looks like the Rolling Stone tongue. <laughs> 10 points to Sahil for Guinness uh, World Records. In fact, there was a question in the last. Edition last one with Guinness also. About how his CEO had to figure out which is the fastest bird in Europe and that's why they started uh, the world record book. Okay, Sahil Shah gets 10 points for Guinness Book of World Record. This will be a direct for Neville. Neville X is considered to be one of the most relatable satirical commentary on corporate office life. First published in 1989, it has since been published daily in over 2000 newspapers in 65 countries and 25 languages. It portrays corporate culture as Kafka's world of bureaucracy for its own sake and office politics that stand in the way of productivity, where employees' skills and efforts are not rewarded, but busy work is praised. Much of the humor emerges as the audience sees the characters making obviously ridiculous decisions that are natural reactions to mismanagement. What are we talking about? I know it's not the answer, but I'll just say it anyway. Uh, Calvin and Hobbes. Not Calvin and Hobbes. Going to do Ashwarya. It's tinkle, tinkle. Super. Panchatantra was originally about office place satire. <laughs> you don't know the famous character Chanda Mama. You don't know. <laughs> I see. I know it's like a comic which has like office related stuff happening mm. you know it's Rahul Subramanium so of course world of bureaucracy okay Ashwari. fine let that my say it okay fine it's Dilbert by Scott Adams but oh yeah uh, Dilbert. Yeah. Dilbert is what we are looking for Dilbert the famous cartoon strip talks about corporate life uh, yeah. Dilbert yeah. is about guys I have written Spider-Man and I have written Dilbert and I have not said Dilbert you have met Dilbert 
thank you i have to say that it was just waiting to be said <laughs> okay tanmay got 10 point for dilbert which means the next direct will be to sahil yeah. dilbert dilbert sahil uh, uh-huh. you need to tell me what is so special about this place so al maktas is an archaeological world heritage site in jordan on the east bank of the jordan river al maktas includes two principal archaeological areas the remnants of a monastery on a mount known as jabal mar elias an area close to the river with remains of churches thousands of christian pilgrims from around the world visit this place every year the site has then seen several archaeological digs it has seen four visits by pope and state visits and heads of uh, states and it it attracts tourists and pilgrimage activities throughout the year in 2015 the site was designated as a world heritage site by unesco it's during the western side of the year like you can ignore that part why do you think this place is so special what is so special about this place? uh yes sir it was a library it was a library no passes to neville okay um don't know the exact words mm-hmm. that you'll want Mm-hmm. but it is considered to be the like the 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 foundation of christianity and the foundation of islam and the church of nativity and the river of baptism baptism and that that part is uh is 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 the circumference of this area and which is why it's sort of in always in dispute as well and things like that. that's the best are you looking for something specific yeah so out of all the things that you said i want one of these things uh think of river specifically what could from the list of things that you said because you said a lot oh, of ba- baptism Bapt- uh, the it's the place where jesus was baptized it's the place where jesus was baptized oh, wow that, okay. the location where jesus was baptized on jordan river and that's why it's very very important for Amazing. us ah, i was going to say it's where santa claus was born <laughs> you can <laughs> thousands of christian pilgrims going with their socks <laughs> okay he gets uh, jesus baptized panda gets 10 points which means next direct will be to ashwarya i hate it because never answers everything and then the next direct comes to <laughs> Okay, this is a visual question. Uh, so look at the image, and uh, the guy in the picture is some. Beer open. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> guy in the image is called Ambrose Everett Dash. Okay, who was an American soldier, railroad executive, inventor, industrialist, and politician from Rhode Island. Served as the governor of Rhode Island from 1866 to 1869. Became a United States senator uh, for the next six years, and then he died. but all that is not that important what word has its origin in a very particular and distinctive style of something that this guy was famous for mustache that's all that i can think which he's famous for yeah go try think of the exact word that came because of this guy uh and the visual is a big hit so his name is ambrose everett dash from that that, that- comes a comes another word huh which is used for a very particular and di- distinctive style of something uh, handlebar not handlebar good track tanmay pass pass can can yes no no is time sahil side burns beautiful answer it oh, is i was nice. called ambrose everett burn side and then uh, the word side burns come from his name mm, okay nice. so side burn and burn side So it is 10 man. points. But nice Eight guess, actually. That was a good guess. Yeah. yeah. I, I literally like first was going to be handlebar only. Handlebar was good. Right? Okay. Uh, now we move to Neville. Uh, Neville, I'm talking about a logo again. Okay. Famous logo. It was designed in 1965. Let's look at all the hints. Let's look at colors first. The design relies on a timeless combination of red, white, and blue. Okay, bright and well balanced at the same time. So the logo has red, white, and blue. These three colors. Symbolism: red stands for love and energy, while blue conveys strength and reliability. Shape: simple geometry ensures that the logo is easily memorable and recognizable. Now comes the big clue: the three dots stand for the first three dash. 
the company had originally planned to add a new dot every time it opened a new dash but that intention was never realized which famous logo is being discussed i'm going to kill myself no never still to possible to bring up right like now this. yeah yeah <laughs> 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 fine man sir tough time <laughs> Every time they opened a new. Thanks. Fuck. Don't you like the beginning? Pass. Passing to Ashwarya. I don't know. I'm just gonna guess. Dominoes. It is dominoes. It is correct. Yeah. yeah. Dot represented the first three restaurant, first three outlets. They thought they'll add a dot every time they opened a new restaurant, but they became too big to do that. Uh, the answer is dominoes. Oh, that's what I thought that they shut down. No, no. Dominoes is correct. Three dots. Red, white. That's what happens when you don't have enough information. Three dots. <laughs> that's all you think of. I wrote everything. Burger King, McDonald, sub lick diya tha maine. Oh no, I thought was thinking what? All, I thought like I was 1965. I was thinking of a Russian company that shut down. Then I thought fucking everywhere. Tips. I was very happy. It's a triangle, rectangle, circle. <laughs> If I had more time, more shapes would have been drawn. Uh, that brings us to the end of the quarter final. Okay, let's have a quick look at the score. Ashwarya had 10 in the first half. And then she got three for uh, uh, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Also got ten points for Dominoes. So thirteen in the second half. She ends on twenty-three. You should well, always clap for the loser, okay, guys? <laughs> Neville had forty in the first half, and then he got eight thousand in second half. So <laughs> no, no, eight thousand forty. Five no, for Agua, four for uh, British royal family connection of Harry and Markle. Also got Jesus baptism, so he got nineteen in the second half. Uh, Neville ends on fifty nine. Nice, wow. nice. I don't kill yourself, man. He got three for uh, Meghan Markle, and then ten each for Guinness Book of World Record and sideburns. So he gets twenty three in the second half. Sahil ends on forty three. Insane. And I had ten, and he got two more ten points in the second half. He got uh, Dilbert. And uh, Wikipedia logo, so twenty in the Dilbert. Standard. Dilbert. Uh, then my ends on thirty points. Two goals. Dilbert. Which means uh, the winner of fourth quarter final is uh, Neville Shah. Hey, congratulations! And the runner up of uh, the quarter final, the second guy who qualifies for semi final, is Sahil Shah. Yeah, hey, congratulations. Yes. I guess that means we should not watch race two. Yes, that just means. <laughs> I think the big takeaway is that. Now watch uh, all the races. I'm going to watch it back <laughs> marathon right now. <laughs> But uh, obviously, a lot of thanks to Tanmay and Ashwarya for always coming here and having. Yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank and, you, KV. Uh, thank you, thank, thank you, KV. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank much you. Much fun. Bye, KV. Bye, guys. Bye, bye friends. Bye, bye. bye. Thank <laughs> you.